What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is here with Prolific Breed. We're standing in front of the Red Sea Reefer 350 today. I haven't done an update on this tank in a while and a lot has changed. Um, I still have all of my anemones as you can see they're all about right here. Um, the big guy at the bottom he started moving up top right here uh, just the other day. He's pretty much camped up there now. I had to kind of frantically move some of my frags because once it just plops down and sits, it's just going to start stinging all of my um, corals I had up top. I had different varieties of um, zoas and birds nest and stuff up top. In the beginning all of the anemones were down here, kind of all clustered together, but recently I picked up about 13 anemones. You guys can spot them in here. Um, the seller, Russell, um, we traded corals here and there like multiple times now between um, a year now since I've met him. Now he had an anemone dominant tank um, which was a Lagoon 25 and he had about 13 anemones the same strain as this one right here, right in the center. And he had all 13 in the 25 gallon Lagoon and everything was going fine. And he told me that his tank crashed or something happened where the anemones were not happy. So within this cluster right here, you guys can see some of the anemones that I picked up from him. They all lost color. So he gave me a good deal on the 13, but throughout the rock work right here, you can spot them right in the center. You can see one right there. It's kind of purplish. He's not glowing at all. I'm hoping they would recover somehow in my tank. Um, I have a bigger tank than the 25 gallon and it's pretty stable with all of my um, pond matrix in the sump area, but here's one. And then if you look down here, there's the second one. Over here, you see another one. They all lost color and he just wanted to offload them all. And I was there to pick them up. So he gave me this entire rock right here. He gave me two rocks. Um, one of the rocks, they all kind of bailed out and I placed them right in the center right here. But since then, they have kind of moved on and kind of crawled all over the, the tank and settle wherever they please. But the second rock right here, it has a lot of um, crevices and holes for anemones to hide in. And I couldn't get them all off. So I just made room and placed the rock directly into my um, tank. And they're all right here looking like so. You can see the color difference between these guys right here, which they're very pink and vibrant compared to these guys right here. I've done a little research and it looks like the anemones can lose coloration like this if the salinity changes abruptly or like parameters swing abruptly. They just don't get happy and then kind of start deteriorating. So now, a, I think about a week passed by and he offered them up to me. So I, I just wanted to take this chance to kind of document how these anemones look now and hopefully the coloration would just kind of come back. With some of them, you can see they're bluish green and others like the one right here right in the center and the one in back you can see some of that um, pinkish coloration coming back i'm hoping within a couple of weeks these guys would be bouncing back to something like this or even something like this everyone's pretty happy um, the original ones that I have but yeah picking up 13 more just kind of filled in the tank really good 
So here's a shot stepping back. I don't have any anemones in the cups up there. They're kind of dirty. You need to take them out and kind of service them. But I put one of my um, bird's nest up there um, because the anemones, once they are all started mingling together, everyone's just moving about and it's pretty risky having the bird's nest um, so close to, to the anemones because um, they can kind of sting them to death. But here's the shot right here. This was my goal for the tank, to have an anemone dominant tank since the beginning. And we're just one step closer to that. I don't think I'll be purchasing any more anemones in the near future. Um, just gonna put this tank on cruise control and maintain it and grow out these guys. Hopefully, um, it'll get to a point where I can resell if they start multiplying more. I can resell. Um, I have, I think, three different strains in here. And my favorite one is um, this one right here. It's called Rainbow. Uh, tips are like vibrant red and you see like three colors to it some of them have like one like one dominant color but then the base is still kind of green but they all kind of morph throughout their life stage or months or whatever but yeah the tank's looking great right now so the tank's still humming along I'm just gonna grow out the anemones. I have um, cyanobacteria issues because the one j bell pump on this side right here broke and I haven't had a chance to um, replace it yet with another wave maker. So within the tank, I've been kinda um, using a tur turkey baster to kinda blow everything to get it cleaned up. But I have cyanobacteria growing that's because um doesn't have enough water flow and it's just detritus sitting on the rocks or sitting on the um bare bottom and if it's stagnant for a while you get the um cyanobacteria coming up and developing so I was looking into a replacement for the j bell um I was considering uh, getting the AI Nero 5, but I've read mixed reviews on it. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about that um, wave maker. It's about 199 right now. It's still uh, quite a bit to pay, but there's a lot of complaints on that wave maker and how it's breaking down and the magnet not working correctly and all of that. So I've been kind of on the fence between getting another j bow or um, just taking the plunge and buying the Nero 5. Yeah, let me know in the comments below if you have experience with that wave maker. Other than that, I have this um, cross flow. Um, both both sides pointed in the same direction now and it's just blowing across the tank. It's been fine so far but at night I kind of um, tuned this down a little bit because um, past experience where I lost three anemones in one night with the wave maker. Since these guys are still kind of settling in, um, I'm just tuning it down just in case if they're um, moving about and floating in the middle of the night but yeah guys I just wanted to kind of document these anemones right here they lost coloration because of a crash or a fluctuation with um, parameters here's one two three four five, six, um, seven, and I know there's um, 
some hitting in this cluster right here and then some in the back of this rock but I just wanted to share with you guys what's going on with the Red Sea Reefer 350. I'm stepping back right now. I think it looks great with all of the anemones. Hopefully um, they'll split and we'll get more. But I wanted to document the, the ones that are sick or in shock. Hopefully we'll get these guys um, back to normal and then I'll be sure to update you guys on all of the pale anemones and the entire tank in general. Until then guys, I hope you guys have a great day. Um, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.